Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Welcome to day two of Day of the Diver. The most game ever. Definitely one of the games to ever. It really is. A daver, yes. <laughs> Dive the daver. Let us continue with Dive the daver. So last we left off, um, the archaeologist Dr. Bacon wanted us to blow something up. Uh, I killed some sharks and made a lot of money. Uh, we got employees. Um, yeah, I think that best sums it up. Uh, if you don't know what this game is, it's a game about sushi. It's an incredibly normal game about sushi. So let's, uh, <laughs> dive right into it. God, I'm never doing that again. I lost a piece of my soul doing that. Huh? So we've got a little uh, thing showing us where the rock pile is. Can I? Yeah, I can just like. I guess that just shows me my inventory. I can't check my phone underwater, sadly. Now let's go get this ingredient that's over here. Mr. Mori Eel, please don't fuck me. Can you not shoot it? I tried, and uh, no, not really. Hmm. I wish you could surface for air without having to return to the boat. Yes, there is somehow miscellaneous ingredients just in the ocean. And also a baseball bat. That's normal, right? It's so normal. Uh, yeah, let's stick with the triple axe I've got. Cheap Javanese sword. Yeah, all right. Ow. Oh, they're ganging up on me. God damn it.
Very beautiful. Very powerful. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the fish a lot of the fish in this game can be summed up in that way. Uh, a lot of them just want to kill you for whatever reason. Oh, hello. Yeah, but they're fish. They're not supposed to know that. Ooh, shit. Nice, nice. Oh, we have a ton of money. I didn't even realize that. I'm gonna upgrade my cargo as much as I can. I, I should have done that before the first dive, uh, but I, I, I didn't. I simply didn't. Salt, thank you. Let's see if we can make our way toward. Oh, never mind. There's another thing I want to get. Keep being like, all right, let's make our way towards the quest, and then I see a fish that I want. Apparently the star, the star ranking, because it's one, two, or three stars, that's dependent on um, how intact the fish is. So if you, like, catch it in a net or tranquilize it, then it's three stars. If you use the harpoon, it's two stars. If you, like, dice it up or shoot it, that's one star. W.A. 
Uh, fucking stop changing the thing on me. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. You are very good. These guys sell for a lot. I'm not looking at my keyboard. Let me just catch the fish. SW. There we go. Oh, a small machine over there. It's a level 3 rifle, though. That's actually pretty good. I do not like the little mechanic that the fire harpoon has added. I don't even really know how advantageous the different types of harpoons are, but I do know they make catching things a little extra difficult. And presumably it's like, you know, there's an advantage to it. Oh, hell yeah. But I don't know what that advantage is. They're adding status effects to the fish that damage it, even if you fail to catch it. Oh, okay. Hello, shark. Ooh, olive oil. I brave it. I'm gonna try... Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, thank well, God. Dead now. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, I do have some extra air. I need to find a way back up right now. There's an oxygen right there if you want it. Oh wait, I forgot oxygen like functionally heals you. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, scrap collector. Picked up 100 items. Ooh, I for ow, forgot that was that strong. That was the gun, not the, uh, not the harpoon. Whoops. Enhanced harpoon tip. Oh, hello. One moment.
Actually, no, that's probably a bad idea. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna head up. Nope. Stop trying to kill me. I do have a little bit of room. Fine, I'll... Full. Now I'm happy. Good. Kami saw I saw it. God damn it. Just <laughs> now seeing that. those and 35 for each. So many of these, I might as well do that. Is this one again? Uh, yeah, I'll do that. And no, that'll do. Nope, wrong one. That'll do. Uh, yeah. Oh, that cost 22. I didn't even realize. That's okay, though. Start with shit we have very little of. I'm gonna have to keep a very close eye to the menu because of that, but I think it'll be alright. I don't want to use up the Clear because we need that for this. Go with this though. All right, everything. Everything's ready. Everything's auto supplied. Research in? Oh, we can research something. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think that's ready. Hey! 
Oh, oh thank goodness. Okay. Menu swap for this auto supply. Swap for this auto supply. Don't want to risk adding anything else because anything that isn't sold will be wasted, so that'll do. supply and that should be plenty I hope oh <sighs> good sale barely anything wasted hell yeah that is not a lot comparative compared to last time, but that's okay because last time was absolutely insane, I think. I don't know what the purpose of building more of these is. Oh, wait, I can Google it. Hold on. Craft multiples of the same basic gun template to create a variety of different enhanced guns. Can improve the weapons later. So you can have the same weapon with different effects. Okay. So it's really not... There's not really a point to it at the moment. Is what I'm getting. Oh, whoops. Anar has been turned into a black box. There we go. Oopsie. I 
also don't know how to train staff. I'll have to look into that soon. Should also grab some red starfish to make that hush dark gun, now that I understand what the significance of it is. Black vinegar. Okay. Don't recall if I have a use for that or not, but now we have some. Stone cave, that's new. Oh, a net gun. Specialized for capturing live fish. Fuck am I? Try this thing out. Nope, wrong one. I'll just cut one. That was all the ammo I had for it. Pretty you. Have you gotten one of these before? No, okay. A oh, word past where we need to be in terms of depth.
sharp Japanese sword. Hello, you two. Oh, we're here. Try placing one of the bombs. Cover a cave view on that rock pile. Oh, I can just knock fish out and then collect them. Oh, that's amazing. torn to a thousand pieces for come food for the sharks. It's a scary thing to say in such a casual voice. Uh, something about a bomb. Uh, I think I need better equipment to pick that up. Uh, in which case, I'm gonna... Don't, don't worry about the, the bomb that's right there. It's fine. Probably. Sitting there taking this. I feel a bit bad about that. Oh, a little bit, not much. Alright, anyways, bomb. There should be enough. Here it goes! Oh, that wasn't that bad, actually. Nice, now the road is clear. It's faint light coming from inside. Go on! Uh, what if there's a monster or something inside? That would be also an amazing scientific discovery! Oh, how could he? Go to new region. I guess... Sea People Record Chamber. Wow, this place is... Wow! It appears to be some kind of Sea People Record Chamber. My lucky feeling was correct. There definitely was a Sea People Civilization in this region. Look at that mural back there. No human could have painted that so deep underwater. Maybe these are from some ancient civilization that sank from seismic activity. A good point. But that style of painting and architecture can't be seen anywhere above ground. Please, first investigate this place. I'm sure you'll be able to find a variety of interesting clues. It can't be a natural pillar, there are even mysterious carvings engraved in it. This mural seems to be of a warrior or a king. It's powerful. There seem to be scales on the lower body. So it's really a mural of the sea people. painting of dolphins and marine plants. Apparently the sea people could draw, not just write. Go, that should be enough. I would like to research a little more, so please take a photo with the camera I gave you. How? I don't actually... Oh, it's... It's a spot. New content, camera. Camera icon indicates you can take pictures. Check your objective in the top left. Use space to adjust the focus and remove your hand to take a picture. Make sure your timing matches the green indicators. Oh, man. Alright. Ah, oh, now we can see the thing. Oh, I see something on the floor there. 
Oh, it might be another Sea People artifact. Bring it to me. Sea People artifact. An artifact found in the Sea People record chamber covered with moss. It's old and shabby, but it seems to be a strange ener or mysterious energy about it. It's a sound from before. Hmm, our accuracy were filled with sea people symbols. What could they have written? More importantly, didn't you hear something? What do you mean I didn't hear anything over the radio? Come, back up to the boat for now. I, I couldn't really figure out what kind of voice to do for Dr. Bacon, so I just did my normal voice, but the emphasis and intonation is all a bit off. You know what? I think it fits. You guys enjoying this incredibly normal sushi game that's just only about sushi and nothing else? I love incredibly normal sushi game where only sushi happens and nothing else. Resilient little lads. Good lord. Atlantic mackerel. Very slow game of chase with this fish. There was more ammo right there. I could have tried the hush dart again. Oops. As cool as the hush dart is, I think I'm going to stick with the gun. Simply on the basis of, I don't think the hush dart will work on sharks. Sea people artifact. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, I'm glad you like it. 
I'll have to analyze this artifact and the mural, f mural further at my lab. I'll be in touch soon. Oh, hello. Huh? Hey, hey, you there! I heard an explosion in the sea. Do you know what's going on? Oh, about that, um... We are Sea Blue! We are an organization that tracks down people who pollute this beautiful sea and reports them. I sometimes carry out justice myself for those that per commit particularly evil deeds. I've had reports of someone who has been engaging in mindless destruction of the environment in these parts. I don't know if it was you, but you better be aware of this. Whoever harms the Great Sea will have to contend with Sea Blue. And me, John Watson. J just straight up Man. Okay. That, that's just his name? Yeah, sure, all right. Uh, now then, be, great, be ever grateful to see and never lose your love for it. I'll be leaving now. We're watching you. Uh, we, are, we are a normal advocacy organization that is totally not a front for animal trafficking. What a creepy dude. We'll be okay. Sea Blue, that group is infamous. They commit acts of violence under the pretext of environmental protection. It's mostly the large corporations with big fishing businesses, and not the f small fisheries that harm the environment most. But they say nothing to the corporations. I expect they've taken bribes or something unsavory like that. That guy looked like bad news. Won't do you any good to be on their radar. Be careful. I need three for this small nut gun. Oh, I still have a second dive. What does this want me to... There we go. actually gonna grab some of these little guys over here. Yeah, these ones. Because I need them for one of the fancy meals.
take it. I'm not gonna be happy about it though. Oh wow, that was instant. Alright, maybe the flame harpoon is worth something. Ooh, I can dive very deep now, because I've got the- <gasps> Hello, shark! Shark moment? There's a lot worse here than I thought it'd be. I'm okay though. Oh, it doesn't injure you. Ooh, bones. Toy. Bless you. Stop that, I'm not even going after you. There we go. That is what I call a haul.
Look at that. Eco health bracelet. How do I equip it? Hmm. I don't know, I think I can equip it once I'm underwater again. For the moment though, it has been one hour, so I will be taking a stretch break. You know, getting some water, getting a snack, stretching my spine, so... If you guys want to do the same, I suggest you take the time to do so now. And I will return shortly.
Hello, I return. And it seems we'll be a few minutes yet, but we're just doing the restaurant stuff, so it should be all right. Oh, there's a little question mark on it. I wonder what that indicates. Yes, go to sushi. Oh my. VIP appeared, Vincent the Gourmet. Hello viewers, this is Yui from the TV show Star the Chef. Today I've come to a seaside sushi bar that's all the rage on Cooksta, Bancho Sushi. In this sushi bar that's famous for his exotic sushi, we have with us the legendary sushi expert, Vincent's, Vincent Yamaoka. Mm -hmm. I am Vincent Yamaoka. Hello Vincent, how would you define sushi? Sushi is a very simple dish. It's only rice, vinegar, wasabi, and the fish that goes on top. Everything hangs upon these ingredients. However, simple does not mean easy. Listen, how good the ingredients are. How they were stored and aged. How- oh, hi kitty. Hey. How they were stored and aged. How they were cut. How the rice was cooked and how it was molded. Mm. All these things matter in the art of sushi. Yes. I see. In that case, what do you think of the exotic sushi that Bancho Sushi is famous for? The ingredients for sushi have long been similar. The king of fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. Below that, the olive flounder and amberjack with white and red meat. All verified ingredients, you understand. To dare to use new ingredients despite the many proven ones that existed from the Edo, Edo, Edo era. Regardless of the taste, this shows a lack of respect. You've once criticized California rolls as not being real sushi. We're curious to see what your opinion on Banjo Sushi will be. Now then, let's start by introducing the star of today's show. This is the owner, Boncho. Um, this is a bit sudden. I'm, I'm called bon Boncho. He's quite, uh, reticent. That means he can only, he, that can only mean he speaks through his cooking. The sushi bar offers a fantastic view as it's near the giant blue hole, and the chef sure gives off the vibes of a master. I'm really looking forward to how the food will taste. Vincent, which food will you be trying? I'm not really interested in the food of a place that's so focused on appearances. You there, Boncho, was it? Your name. Let me take a look at what you can do. Let me see. Bring me something to surprise me. Wow, Vincent offers a daring provocation. He's left the menu for the chef to decide. I can't just sit I can't just sit by and listen to your prejudiced thinking. Give me two days, I'll be sure to shock you. A standoff between a traditional gourmet and an exotic chef. Things are re getting real interesting. We'll come to you live on the next episode. Don't forget to tune in next time to Star the Chef. Well, fuck. What does he want? Or what am I serving him? What are you thinking? What are you going to do? A man does not run from a challenge. I've thought of something. Will you get me the ingredients? I need some sea grapes and white spotted jellyfish. They could both be harvested in the limestone cave about 100 meters down the depths. Make sushi with those. Okay. A limestone cave, right? I'll, look, I'll go look for them. I've got the sea grapes already, so I just need um, the jellyfish. Okay, so the VIPs are timed. That sucks. Uh, let's see. 